E6013 electrodes are similar to rod type E6012 electrodes but E6013 is having distinct differences in the coating, slag formation and welding polarity. E6013 electrodes have a soft arc with low penetrating power and fast freezing slag. Due to this, there can be a lack of penetration in the fillet weld joint with insufficient root fusion. E6013 rod coating elements. Coverings of E6013 electrodes contain rutile, cellulose, ferromanganese, potassium silicate as a binder, and other siliceous materials. The potassium compounds permit the electrodes to operate with AC at low amperages and low open circuit voltages. Click the link in the video description to learn about the E6013 welding rod in depth. Welding polarity for E6013 rod. E6013 electrodes can be welded with DCEP, DCN, and AC polarity. E6013 welding rod meaning. Similar to other welding electrodes, each digit in the E6013 electrode has its own meaning. These digits give very valuable information about this electrode. Here. E stands for electrodes for stick welding. The next two digits 60 indicate the tensile strength of the weld deposit is 60 ksi or 60,000 psi. The next digit 1 indicates it is an all-position electrode which means flat, vertical, overhead, and horizontal positions. The last digit 3 indicates it is high titania potassium and can be welded with only DCEP, DCEN and AC polarity. Which materials you can weld with E6013 welding rod? The majority of applications for these electrodes are in joining carbon steel sheet metal due to its soft, low penetrating arc. However, they have been used to advantage on galvanized steel and on some low alloy steels. Typical applications include shipbuilding, buildings, bridges, storage tanks, piping, and pressure vessel fittings.